Hello and welcome to Autumn in Lampy Hills, a P fan mission by Pura. Alec. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if he was using the handle Pura at this point. I think he changed his handle on the forums and stuff a couple times. Uh, Anthony Husso, same money made Clutch Legacy, whose legs went on and worked on the Dishonored series. Uh, this was originally released in 1999. It's uh, one of the early of band missions, it's one of the big ones from the time, it's one of the very well known ones, the name always comes up, and kind of established a lot of the, well helped establish uh, some of the uh, expanded universe of the, that uh, many band mission authors like to draw from. Uh, but apart from that, I didn't know anything about it, I just, you know, it's one that you hear the title of a lot. So uh, let's go see what it's about. I'm not going to read a text briefing because there is a journal with more information in, inside. So, trick or treat for 1500 in loot, break into the Alaris house, steal the antique dagger, find out the secret of the locked switch and steal whatever is behind it, and make it back to your cottage alive. Like, none of these make any sense without context, but, uh... Rumor has it there was a companion blade to the dagger, uh, the Alaris dagger, a jeweled sword, drag it down and make it yours, don't kill any innocents. The Keepers lost a gold medallion in Lampai Hills long ago. Recover it for yourself and don't kill any innocents. What? Oh, it's still the same. Don't kill any innocents. 35. Look, do I want to go for experts? Where well, there's extra stuff to find. The extra objectives is always tempting me, but uh, <laughs> greatly increased loot goal, less so. Well, hell, if I get stuck looking for loot, I guarantee there's a loot list out there that's going to work. So, let's just begin. Um, I have my compass, I have my cartridge key, and uh, I have food available. Wait, this is, doesn't... Oh, wait, it does cost money, it just doesn't tell me how much. There's no description. Jesus. You come as a two... Apples are one. I mean, what? What is this? As much food as I can carry, right? Does it even do anything? I don't think so. Hmm. So I wanted to put a carrot back. Just spend all my money on food, right? Can I take a pile of bread for that? Yes, one loaf of bread. That's going to be one heck of a sandwich. So this is my new cottage in uh, Lampfire Hills. Retiring in style like I always promised I would, right? sword. I just, you know, not that I'm going to need it in my retirement cottage, but, you know, keep keep my, just do some training later. Keep my hand in. You never know when uh, it might come in handy. Alright, let's 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 read, read my diary. Damn, ah, I'm getting sentimental in my old age. Starting to keep a diary. Since the Roth chest sale burglary, I'm debt free and in a position to finally start living comfortably. I purchased this cottage on the north edge of the city in a neighbourhood called Lampfire Hills with good intentions of settling down. Unfortunately, this dreary world seems intent on drawing me further down the spiral by offering just enough surprises to hold my interest. Two days ago, I found a locked switch on one of the walls of my cottage. It doesn't have a key. It may be magically bound, because I can't pick the damn thing even with hours of leisure time to spare. Curious, and with nothing better to do, I asked around and did some prying. The fellow who owns the grocery down the hill said the previous owner sold the cottage to me after he grew uneasy, so there was some old story about an alchemist living in the cottage, but refused to say more. Tonight is Autumn Soul's Eve, and it's been a while since I've gone trick-or-treating. This evening after dusk, I think I'll give it a shot. For starters, I'm going to steal an antique jeweled dagger owned by a rich fop across town, part of the Alaris family. The dagger once belonged to a, to a king. Maybe I'll start a hobby collection now that I'm out of debt. The night will still be young. Afterwards, or along the way, I have to do some breaking and entering at the Keeper Library. There has to be an archive somewhere detail detailing the plans and original builder of my cottage. From there, I guess I'll go wherever I'm led in order to solve this little mystery of the lock switch. 
I like this neighborhood because it's quiet, old, full of history and atmosphere. Lots of people going out of town for the holiday, though. Can't figure out why. Maybe it's that old legend that Lampfire Hills are haunted. Awesome Souls Eve is a prime night for spooks. I guess I'll visit the psychic while I'm out. Maybe she has some info on my cottage and or other local legends. After tonight, I should be able to tell one way or another whether the rumored hauntings have a basis in fact. Yep. It's sign my diary. Alright, can I leave it behind? I can. Nice, just kind of propped it up there on the table. I by accident. Well, if I'm planning to go across town, it makes sense to uh, just take all my equipment with me. I'm trying to take the loot because of, you know, habits, but it's already it's already my loot. Get my lockpicks too. It's like, loot! It. Valuables! It's kind of funny because I pick up all the stuff on there except the loot. Uh, oh, well, let's add, let's have, add my sandwich pile. Okay, you have a ladder in the chimney. Loot! Garrett, you should know better than to leave all this loot on display. Why am I trying to pick my own front door? I'll get out in a minute. Um. That's my back door. So, oh, this is the lock switch. Right. And you can't pick it. It just doesn't work. Hi, oh, man. How's it going? Any mess yet? No. See? So rich and decent. I've even got my own front gate guard. Yeah. Our statue's gonna have to go. Ugh, well, time for a relaxing bath. Isn't it? <sighs> All right, it's twelve water arrows I've got. Let's, since we've got water arrows, let's uh, fire out and um. Hi, Crystal. See what the view is from the chimney up here. Uh, awkward rendering. I mean, if I needed to escape my cottage in a hurry, this would be definitely a hurry. It would hurt get trying to jump down from here. So I guess that's strictly for maintenance. No secrets there. It says that is a... There is a secret door there. Look at that. That is absolutely a secret door. Okay. Look at those beautiful glowing dodecahedron goals. Alright. Um, a map. Okay. We're heading west. Yeah, good. Mark at the old shrine. So where do we need to go? Keep a library. A a succubus's kiss. Brimstone in the old shrine, the market weaponsmith alert us. That's one of our goals. Alright, make sure no spooks and ghosts get in. Private property, no thieves allowed. Garrett of Lampire Hills. No thieves. No thieves allowed. Garrett. Dum, dum, you uh, are. Da, 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 da. Love it. Public notice. As usual, the district of Lampire Hills will have curfew on Northern Souls Eve. No civilians are allowed on the streets after dark under penalty of swift imprisonment slash dismemberment. Remember that this is for your own safety. We are going to dismember you for your own safety. Mayor Cameron Guys of Lampire Hills. And maybe this isn't the peaceful little town you thought it was, Gary. Here we go. Now this would be the psychic's house, right? Psychic of the two moons. Well, that's not a door that opens. So if I'm going to visit the psychic's house, how am I going to do so? I should ask Mr. Husso how am I going to do so? The doorbell. Something there. Nothing. Does he turn? Yes. 
So, the guards are allowed to be at the belt. I mean, that's normal, of course. Ah, this must be the psychic's uh, back door. <laughs> Of course, I'm not coming here to consult with them, just to uh, read their diary and stuff, right? I have dreamed. A dream of moving night. In the lamplit hills, there are two dark ones. One from the high cottage, and one from the dinner fire. They are both writers of their own thoughts, both hunters in the dark. As shadows seeking light, they gather wickedly over the jewels of the rich. The one from the high cottage will find the other in the dinner fire, and steal his thoughts while he is away. Then the bladed gems will find sanctuary in the high cottage. But this is not all. I have dreamed a dream of moving night. In my dream I forged an olden key to places locked in rust, sunk beneath the cobbles and nitrous vaults too dark to breathe. There the lorists gathered shadows. There the old kings hid their wealth. Two paths, one key. You cannot tread them both. But that is not all. I have dreamed a dream of living night. From the dream rose dreadful whispers. A tragedy untold. The hunter from the high cottage will seek the haunter of the same. Beware! Beware! No blessed water saves. No fire can touch its deathless hand. For there are things so wretched in their evil sadness that they can never die. Flee! Flee! Let no hope of butchery mislead. No well-placed arrow can fell. No magic blade can bite the shade of the floating dead. Beware, dark hunter. For I have foreseen all of this, and that you should come tonight, reading my dreams as you have. But I am gone before you, and love not here. Heed the winds that whisper to you this black and holy night. Seville, the psychic. <sighs> no information at all, just weird poetry. Well, some evil banners. They succumb to the blade. Oh, hello. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's just your bedroom. It's not, not super secret, you just don't want your clients getting here. I mean, that makes sense. Sorry for the abrupt interior redecoration. Ah, oh, they've been drinking, man. No wonder they're writing uh, strange poetry. You alright? That was a little awkward there, but uh, I didn't hurt myself, so that's okay. It's kind of nice particle effects. It's a little weird that they kind of. Raining and glowing up and out at the same time. Is that a guard coming this way? Alright, well, um, I guess I hear. Psychic. I might be able to read that, yeah. Psych. Okay, this footsteps are not coming close up. But he was, he was going up there, all right. Um, hmm. Bring you to Lara's house. See, that's the main... What does it say? Trick or treat every door. Wait, what? Oh, it's... Wait a minute. Is that what the food is for? Am I supposed to drop the food on the doorstep or something? I thought I'm supposed to collect food, you know? Supposed to get snacks. I mean, there's no one home here, we know that. Or is that just like a colourful, a colourful way to describe it? What's going on over there? Just the wind, I guess. <clears throat> I thought I saw something. Try the window. Identify thyself. Is someone there? Nay. When everyone else is out running around, when am I going to get my dinner? That's what I would like to know. Hmm, do I leave the uh the rope there for the moment? It's a question about three of them. Who is it that I ever work with so incompetent, so stupid, so lazy? I don't see why I should be the one to be put with these incompetent people. 
Well, so that you can wonder about when you're going to get your dinner, that's why. And the word went before him. Hmm. Do I... Check the beams to see if there's anything on top of them. You never know. Up and all right. Over there, stand forth and declare thy name. Just nothing. Just the breeze. Where art thou, villain? Uh. Ladders. Vigilance is our shield. That protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Does he turn at all? It's very, very. Okay, I guess I can put the torch out. Very cramped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not really doing much, is it? Coming from the damn. Uh, I'm gonna reload. That's that's a. Uh, I don't know how many. Uh, how am I gonna deal with that? All right, if you want to grab that holy water. So let's, let's, let's try this way. Right shrine key. Is this the shrine? Alright, you can just you can you should be able to sleep now. Alright, we'll put you up on this floor, on the floor. I'll leave you there. Is that a holy water shrine? It is indeed, okay. Hello? Some crypts, I suppose? Hmm. Okay, where do we right here? The door unlocked for our later convenience, I suppose. <laughs> Climb the ladder. <laughs> oh, extremely tight. Right, I was going to just take that rope with me. We'll see what's down this ladder. Tuned, not canals. I guess it's not technically, technically a difference. Low? Is that opening that door there? The front door? No, so it was. Where are we? Very, 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 very awkward ladder, that's one of that. Extremely awkward ladder placements in this game. For the most. <clears throat> Not the worst. Definitely far from one of the best. So this is the... Uh... I don't know, it's not marked. I mean, it's like a big <coughs> hammerite cathedral. Is this just marked part of the old shrine market? Yeah. Just these guys, hammerites, just hanging around. <laughs> okay, he's not coming this way. All right. Well, not much I can do in here on someone who's going knocking everybody out. So let's just just keep keep it in our memory that there is a way. 
into there if we need to. Well, let's... It's gonna be a switch up downside. Let's just close it to keep, keep them from hearing me splashing them around in here. This one's too... the water level not high enough to let me get out. Alright. Guess we're going back the way we came, in the window of the shrine. Out the windows... oh no, there's another direction. Hang on. I can't even see that from uh, up here. Get press. Locked gate. It's also behaving weirdly. All right, there's a locked gate in the canal. Okay, right. don't, don't, don't drown. <laughs> Didn't want to have to use that then, but uh, I would have been <laughs> suffering otherwise. All right, hopefully I won't need it later, right? Uh, locked gate. In canal beneath. All right. I guess I don't have to go out there. What I see there. Hmm. <clears throat> Noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. Oh, I see. I didn't even need to come here to get my right back anyway. And then I need this one to get out here without uh, falling and hurting myself. <laughs> and then we go around a circle and out the front door again. This is this is efficient thieving. This is this is the name of the game. Again, an also extremely awkward ladder. It won't let you walk on it. Odd noise. Yeah, I'm sure it was nothing. Hmm. He does turn. Nothing there now. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Seems right. peaceful enough now. Can't tell what streets and what tiny cramped alleyways are. Who's this guy? It's a bee. Bee. Can't be Alaris. There's all bees. I mean, maybe it is there. Hmm. It's the south side of town. I want to keep a library anyway, right? That's kind of our first objective. Maybe he is coming this way. A door that doesn't is not a door. Keeper's library. Do not enter after dusk. That doesn't. Why would the keepers have a? <coughs> I 
Not a place just to, uh, you know, the label keepers. I mean, maybe maybe it's just it's not the keepers keepers. Maybe it's just some completely different group by the name. Maybe they just maybe they just look after lost property or something. You know, so. Keepers. Uh, maybe it's a, maybe it's a band, maybe it's a band name. I feel like the Seekers, but they've already found it and they're gonna not let it go anymore. Something like that. And someone stacked crates, and they were just stacking crates to put them neatly in the corner, not hide, not to hide something. I mean, how careless of them. <clears throat> okay, there's a guard here. Of course, you could stack a lot of crates to get in a lot of windows, I suppose. So. I suppose that's a meta reason they might be there. Oh. <coughs> I think I'm gonna have to knock him out, right? I don't see a way that I'm gonna be able to get past. <clears throat> Thought I heard something. Hang on, this. I am extremely. Yeah, Come now now he's all fucking riled up. Wow, this is some bullshit. <clears throat> Just like randomly, some steps are metal. Oh, this is not the first staircase. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of them. There's been, there's been a bunch like that as well. <sighs> and it's barely visible. Don't like, oh, this is a an obstacle you'll find. This is a design I think it gets funny to so just suddenly uh, cause trouble for you. Oh well. Yeah, not, I'm not a fan of that. That kind of design. Not one of the, you know, do it once or twice maybe, but this is like the third sub staircase I've seen. In, in, you know, half an hour. Why shouldn't I enter after dusk? I mean, is that just the rules, or is there some deeper, spookier reason? Where's this? Where's this person wandering around? I hear several. There's at least two guys in here, right? Okay, they seem to be patrolling away. My powers of <laughs> foresight. Try and see. Oh, whoa, this is a maze. Okay, there was one guard right there. I can just see the top of his head. And the other guy is walking around. It's going to be very hard to, to tell where. So I probably want to go around to the left, but I can't see much in the way of shadows there. <laughs> Shadows in the far side of the room. This is just a labyrinth. <laughs> oh, there's a shadow at the bookshelf just in front of me as well. <sighs> I'm trying to see if this guy on the right turns around at all. It's hard to tell. I can't tell which way he's facing. Okay, he's... I mean, there's bits of shadow, but... Anything now? Oh, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So what am I looking for here again? I've forgotten. A lost gold medallion. Why would I be keeping that in the library? Well, I guess the journal said I was coming here to look for any information about the house, right? Or the alchemist, or the... Or the whatever. Where is this fellow? There, there it goes. Does he come here or not? He won't go. <coughs> I think he turns just before this corner. But just in case he doesn't. <coughs> okay, he does go that way. It's good to have a, you know, pl a planned spot to retreat to. Maybe he's slightly randomised actually, because he definitely came down this. Hello. Just well, coming here to return an overdue book. You know, it's up. it's it's the scrolls overdue. Look, here's my library card. Anyway, I'm already better wait for them to calm down a bit. I didn't realize it's just facing this direction. You can't hide for long. Just make one little noise. Gives up mid word. Hmm. Okay, why did the footsteps suddenly stop? That's not a good sign. Just you wait till I find. I think the other guy's still searching for me. All right. And one of them gave up. Maybe I should just knock him out. Seems like they both calmed down. Now I have no idea where the patroller is in his cycle. What the? How the hell did you see me there? There in darkness, and all of a sudden, he realized I was there. That was very, very bizarre. Maybe the light flickered enough for him to see me. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to change my plan of attack in there. I'm gonna have to knock him out. There's literally, and there's no room to do the normal run around behind him. It's just also cracked. And once they're riled up like this, uh, there's no sneaking past them either. Well, I mean, I could wait a couple of minutes and they would... Don't make me... When I find 
you, you'll regret it. You can't hide for long. Long enough. Knock out while they're airborne, you know? I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I'll take the damage. Yeah, I do not understand why I'm given the piles of food. At the beginning of the mission, it just doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. But, uh, especially as this was a Thief 1 mission. I mean, I guess it could have been modified. I don't know to the extent to which they did game says mods for this. Um... But, um, oh, I didn't even see that book. What was it saying? Yeah, and Thief 1 got the food doesn't heal you, so. City records of the Builder, Clark's Office appointee, Year of the Crow, 1543. Having interviewed Sorek Havens past, we have found no proof or guilt on which to hang the plea of the citizens of Lampfire Hills, which plea is that the aforementioned Sorek Havens past, hereafter called the buyer, be disallowed from building his home in the district. Be it known, however, that the following charges were made prior to our grant of deed to said buyer. 1. That buyer, despite outward membership in the clergy of the Hammer Priesthood, practiced and continues to practice witchcraft and alchemy. Unproven. 2. That buyer has a secret laboratory hidden in the ceiling of the Hammer Shrine in North Lampy Hills, which would constitute unlawful dwelling and heresy. No secret room was ever found. 3. That buyer specifically levitated several small children in the market and threatened to drop them from some unspecified height unless the children maintained their play at a more tolerable volume. No eyewitnesses except the children. Note, high leaping children are not uncommon and may have easily been mistaken as levitating. 4. That buyer was specifically obsessed with the art of levitation. He has, supposedly, produced some sort of salve, ointment, balm, either ingested, carried, or worn, which could produce a floating effect. This substance was supposedly used as a threat. The buyer claimed that he could cause his enemies to float off the world. No trace of any such substance or evidence of its use has ever been found. It is noted again that the buyer is considered of sound mind and, and mind and amiable disposition, and deed should be granted forthwith. Double. First buyer. Uh, okay, so he's the buyer building his home. Did he build the cottage? Hmm. Secret lab hidden in the ceiling of the Hammer Shrine. I mean, that's very, very specific, isn't it? But uh, I think I should hang on to that book. That is certainly relevant. Oh wow, this is this is now how a library should be quiet. No muttering, whistling, stomping guards. No screams of of uh, tappers as they get chased by the guards. I guess I mean it'd be possible to sneak around this, but it'd be very very. Awkward. You really just have to pay a lot of attention to what that. It's a crazy labyrinthine layout, and where that one stationary guard was looking, and I just did not see either. There was a book on a table near where that stationary guard was, in front of them. In fact, I don't know how I would ever read it without without being seen. But um... If I hadn't taken the guards out, that is. Here it is, but I'll come back to that in just one second. I just want to complete my survey of bookshelves, and here we are back at the door. Okay. So I saw something on one of these shelves. No, I don't. I like that book that I just picked up. It would have been so easily missed. This is this is how you hide something you want to be found. Book of the Dead. Ghoul, often mistaken for zombies, ghouls are cunning predators and quite fleet of foot. The best weapons are holy water or a fast pair of feet. Groaning spirit, beware, there are no known ways of returning the spectre to its eternal rest. These fiends are cursed to stalk the hell of blackest night until the builder comes again. Alright. I think there is no way into the old keeper vaults, but from the sewer blueprints it looks like a one-shot chance. If I screw it up I won't be able to get in at all. One path leads to both the king's tomb and the keeper vaults. Rule of thumb, wisdom before a crown. 
Hmm, that's the second time I've heard someone say something about uh, one pass, uh, two pass, right? Where's the, um, the psychic notes? Did I pick them up? Yeah. Two paths, one key. They're the lorists, gathered shadows, the keepers. They're the old kings, hid their wealth. You cannot tread them both. How am I supposed to know? I guess, am I, I... I guess the answer is, do I want wealth or do I want knowledge? My loot goal is suggesting going for uh, wealth, to be quite honest with you. Super bright here. I hope there's nobody on the other side of these doors. I mean, there are people on the other side of the doors. I can hear them, but I hope they're not in a position to see me the moment it opens. I guess, given that... I can go stand in the shadows there and open the door. Let's keep a library We're east. We're going towards the market. Where well, is the market? Which is the succubus of kiss? So I'd like to jump across there. Oh, hello. Or up there? Can I? Who's that there? Nobody. Identify yourself. <laughs> I'll find you. This thing is way too narrow. Who's creeping around there? Just, just some Safa who's come on now, come on. Nothing very badly. Don't, don't run away like that. What's he guarding? Yeah, I mean, that's the only really big boy keeper sign there. Oh, this guy's walking underneath me, right? Bullshit, he just wakes up the moment I step in the room. Ah, and they've run to hit the, the gong already. Cool! Oh wow, I mean if I wanted food... What, what use is food? It's an awful lot of food. Two, get the gong got run twice. Two different guards, though, is appropriate to go ring the gong. How are you going to wake the dead for that racket? Perhaps literally. Don't think you can hide for long. I see some healing fruit there. That's, that's, that's positive. You know, I could, I could do with that for sure. Hmm. I've only got the one healing potion, I think. God, so, so today I'm taking damage from well, two two pips from fall damage, and uh, one from from 
very gruff sounding Taffa who just like nidging me. Just around so you can keep this. I know that's not uh, very uh coherent description. Ninjas and karate don't usually go together, but you know. Get, get, get back to bed after waking the whole town. This place is a furniture warehouse, I guess. Locked up in case somebody steals a chair. I mean, I guess a lot of people probably would like to steal a chair. They probably don't know anything else. <laughs> but not a particular use to me to be here. Jack of Lightning's around and they Does he actually come down here? Wow, he does. Just just get away, alright? I just don't need more guards getting in my way on this fine day. Okay, we've we been to the grocers, right? Yes. Can't the front door is just not a door. Right, I want to try climbing up on that thing. You know what? <coughs> Let's keep the guards out of our way, shall we? Because they're kind of getting in the way on the staircase, aren't they? <coughs> well, that's what the furniture warehouse is good for. The same. Juggles furnishings. Maybe we can make up a story about what these guards were, were up to, you know? Taking time off duty. Why did they break into the furniture warehouse? Well, I don't know. They were obviously having having fun together there. Okay. Definitely having a better time than than strolling the streets and uh, muttering and grumbling. So this guy's. So I just knock him out. Honestly, it's probably the best course of action. He's already been alerted. There are a lot of jack lands. Clear, but there are. Uh, I heard one more voice at least. They are a lot clearer. Okay, so I wanted to try climbing up to that thing. So let's let's do that now. No, I'm not having to time it with. Uh, maybe we can just reach it from here. 
probably be a lot harder without New Mantle, so thanks New Mantle. Oh, there's nothing up here. It seems to be purely decorative. It might have been impossible without New Mantle, I don't know. Okay. Back down we go. So this is the market. Um, oh, all the streets south of the market. Um, just in, we have west as the succubus as kiss. It's really yeah, unwieldy. That's the keeper's library. So this is the succubus as kiss, right? And we can't get him without a key. Okay, so let's make a note of that. No, wait. This is still with the key. That's the keeper's library entrance. So I can just kiss this further out, further down this way. That's the inn. Right, another guard. Candles and oils. Okay, I was wondering what kind of establishment it was. These guys don't look too mean. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Gotta stop. Knowledge Jump. is our weapon Nothing. with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. <clears throat> you know, there are some valuables down there, but you know. <clears throat> if I'm going to start stealing valuables in front of everyone, I need to be prepared to. Uh... <clears throat> Knowledge is our weapon. To have Which them we carve a path kind of to get, the get slightly upset by it. Personal note for a thief, things are going better than usual. I've got that rich bastard at the, the Alaris house all staked out. His town home won't stand another week without my velvet glove carrying off most of what he owns. Turns out the ignorant fop has an unlocked secret door into his wine cellar from the back alley. The switch is under some crates. That jeweled dagger he flaunts around the market is as good as mine. Even better, I found out the dagger belonged to a king, and there was a jeweled sword that matched the knife. Rumor has it the king and his sword were buried right here in Lampire Hills. Talbot. What? What? Who is Talbot? I've heard the name before. In other missions where it's been an alias for Garrett, which is a little strange. This is not a good ledge. Seems to be no reason to creep so long it either. That's that ledge is walkable, just. Mm. Where is this? That's oh, okay, we're here. This is the weaponsmith. Another one scripted to wake up the moment you uh, shall still find thee, never fear. Step near anywhere near. Cool. <laughs> Hello, man, you've kind of frozen up there. Are you alright? Scripting clearly went wrong at that point, he went back to sleep mode. Now, I don't know, I... Okay, 100%... I can't be 100% sure this is the way they're supposed to behave. Uh, firstly, this is an early mission. Um, oh, and he's got a ring there too. So, you know, maybe maybe there's some broken scripting or something. Secondly, this is... Although this is the New Dark update. To make it compatible, obviously the fact that there needed to be an update for to make it compatible with New Dark 
showed that they were, uh, you know. Who's the don't move? Shit. Just make one little noise. Was that supposed to hurt? Yeah, that's the kind of, well, sort of. What the fuck? He's got fire arrows? What the hell? Why are they playing in this town? Letting idiots like that run around with high explosives. Next thing you know, there'll be, uh... I mean, I suppose if he's trying to defend against undead, it's... It's valuable. Maybe I shouldn't knock him out. Oh, he's right there. I didn't think he'd see me. Dang it. Alright. Who knows where he went? Do you notice all these wooden eaves I could have actually ripped up here? Get back there, you coward! Now the problem is, he's not going to be fully calmed down for quite a while. I still want the stuff from in there, and sneaking that's going to be a little tough. Good news is I can run away whenever I need to. So of course we're going to immediately get back and try again, right? So leave all that stuff. Well, he did not go back to his post. Well, that'll show me, I suppose. Alright, well, this is Hammer Shrine. You know what? We can go look. Maybe, maybe see if we can find any sign of that laboratory while we're here. Keep seeing this guy's hammer light up and thinking there's something interesting to drop there. Secret lab in the ceiling this place. Oh, that might be a doorway, right? Hmm, better better off doing that from the other side. It's only a secret entrance into the sewers. I did look in at the beam. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you know? Well. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you here next for some revelations about this, what's been going on in here.